Hi there guys, before I start the main part of this video, I just want to dispel a bit of a myth which seems to be seeping into the community. Um, so it's about the pay floor. So the pay floor is called a minimum pay floor for a reason. So it is the commitment that Deliveroo has made uh, through the union uh, for the minimum pay amount. And this is based on the estimated amount of time that Deliveroo thinks it will take an order to take for you to complete an order so this doesn't mean that all orders should be hitting 12 pounds an hour plus cost which is kind of what people are starting to think that's not correct so a lot of orders are hopefully gonna be getting dynamic pricing hitting them and be hitting way above this um, but the pay floor is basically there to make sure that there are no fees that are ridiculously low now we have noticed that some some fees, some orders are not hitting this play for in actual rider experience time. And that's what we're fighting to get better, basically. So at the moment, compliance rate is around about 77%. We want to get that up to 90, 95%. Obviously, you can never get it to 100% because it is only an estimate. It's not based on the actual time you spend on order. Um, and, you know, some riders multi-app like crazy. Some people take much longer than others it's just the way it is we're never going to get it to 100 percent so the main part of this video is about the minimum wage is going up minimum wage is going up by 6.7 percent um, and in real terms like for like basis this would put the pay floor up to 12 pounds and 80p so obviously at that point minimum wage is going to be higher than what the pay floor is so the pay floor at the moment is 12 pounds plus costs so the costs aren't factored into what the actual pay should be. So we need to start thinking about, as a community, what we want to ask for Deliveroo to put, set this minimum, so the minimum amount that they are offering fees at. So, as I said, if we take the 6.7% um, higher than £12, uh, which what the minimum wage is going up by, that would be £12.80. However, I feel like this might be an opportunity to come to... Delivery of maybe asking for a bit of a pay rise for careers on the minimum side of it. Um, and I'd really like to hear what you guys think would be a good plan. Personally, I think it would be a good idea to try and make sure that we're asking for more than what we think that they might be able to offer. So I'd like to know what you guys would be a fair minimum pay floor. Um, Obviously, you've got to keep it realistic. The company still needs to make somewhat of a profit. Uh, but what do you guys reckon would be a fair amount? I'm thinking if we can get somewhere towards sort of 13 50 14 pounds an hour, that would be absolutely amazing. I can't say that I definitely think that that would happen, but that's the sort of figure that I think we should be asking for, 13 50 14 pounds an hour. But what do you guys think? I really, really want to know what you reckon. Please put it down in the comment section down below. And also, on the other side of it, a guarantee what I think would be really good um, was, would be for them to raise the minimum guarantee pay per order. So at the moment, I know in a car, they don't pay anything uh, less than £3.15. I've heard on a bicycle it can be like £2.90. Um, Something that I think would be great is if we can increase this as well. Um, because I don't know what it's like for on a bike, but in a car, an order that's £3.15, by the time you've gone in and you've thought about waiting any time for the order, it just doesn't work out being worthwhile. I know um, before I started with delivery in about 2018-ish time, they were paying £4 per order. So it would be good to get the minimum order fee to around about four pounds i reckon but again i want to hear what you guys think in the comment section down below um because we will be meeting with delivery again in january and this is going to be one of the main talking points it's going to be one of the main things that we need to be negotiating so i think it's good time now to start thinking about what what it is we think is an acceptable rate for the minimum pay to be I hope this has been a good video for you. Please, please, I want to hear everybody's uh, reactions. Please pop comments down below. Um, until then, I shall see you in the next video. Cheers. Bye.